Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 11 of Code Realize, Guardian of Rebirth. So, this episode, well, it was split into two parts, you could basically say, is that uh, one was Cardia and Phoenix, and the other was Lupin and the gang. And with Lupin's side, we'll start with that first, well, um, <laughs> he basically is like, you know what, I need to go save Cardia, so I'm gonna do that. But then Vaughn's like, no, and he's like, I really seen he like, pulled him straight out of the corpse, like, what? And I'm like... <laughs> I laugh, but then uh, he's like, you know, I love her and stuff, and I need to go save her, I promised her, and I'm just like, yeah. So, they all start, you know, doing planning and everything to attack the Naltilis, or whatever the heck the thing's called, and that takes up, like, 12 minutes of the episode, and I'm just like, yeah, mm-hmm, all this planning, get it, done, okay. But, with Cardia, well... She finds out that, uh, yeah, her father's, like, um, kind of essence, I guess you could say, is, you know, with her and with Phoenix and that orb thing. Yeah, because he speaks through Phoenix, and yeah, it's just creepy. And we also see a flashback to when he was alive and when he made Cardia, and that's, you know, what his daughter used to look like, and yeah... That's all fun times, right? <laughs> but anyway, so after that, you know, Phoenix keeps going on about, oh, you know, your horologium will be used for this and that, and blah, blah, blah. I'm the villain, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this all happened in the game. I remember it, and I hate you. <laughs> but anyway, so he keeps, you know, using the stone and, you know, making her poison increase. That's not good because, you know... It's not good. Meanwhile, though, I was very interested in seeing St. Germain bring in idea, like, you know, contacted the old lady and actually brought in members to help them. Like, we actually see that. Like, I think it was mentioned in the game, but it was never, like, shown. So it was really interesting to see what the members' idea kind of looked like with the hoods, and I was like, that's interesting. But anyway, the attack begins, and they all go towards the Nautilus. Now, they're in separate ships, so it's just um, Lupin, Victor, and Impey and one, and Vaughn is in another one to help them through the attacks everywhere, and um, they crash land into the Nautilus, and <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, here we go, here we go. Meanwhile, with Cardia, she uh, escapes, she runs away um, <laughs> from Phoenix and tries to, you know, get out of there, and she randomly grabbed her pants from her other previous clothes. She's back in her dress that she was in, by the way. And I'm just like, why'd she just randomly grab the pants, not the shirt? Whatever. Um, <laughs> that was weird, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so, and that's when Lupin and her get to meet up again, and that's when we get the most famous line you could say from Lupin, is the, you know, I will hold this hand even if his body ro erodes away, or something like that, and he told her he loved her, and I'm just like, I'm gonna cry, and I did cry just a little bit. I'm like, I remember this in the game, I'm gonna cry. No, why? Ah! <laughs> oh, man, though, but, uh, yeah. And he used the, you know, the strongest, uh, form of love, the word, strongest word of love, I should and I'm just like, my heart can't handle this. Why are you doing this to me? Ah! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the thing, though, speaking of hearts, uh, yeah, so, if the horologium is used, Cardio will lose her life. That's the thing that, uh, she, uh, was going to use the poison, you know, to, uh, not the poison, but uh, she was going to use the little drug thing that Saint gave her. It's most likely poison, um, or something like that. Um, magical poison, because, you know, idea. But, um, <laughs> so yeah. And she was going to use that if she couldn't, you know, stop the poison from spreading, because it's going to get really increased. Um, now that he's used the stone a lot, um, on her. And, um, but then she sees Lupin, she drops it, and I'm like, yay! Now she can't do that! Now she can't kill herself! Um, but here's the thing, though. Phoenix shows up again and uses the stone to its full potential, and it breaks, and her poison is now... Not just her, but, like, surrounding her, you know? Like, they don't just have to touch her now, it's like, get in the vicinity of her! Yeah, and Lupin falls to possibly his death. Not really. But, um, yeah, this episode had the feels, had the everything. And now we, I believe we only have one episode left. And that, it's a little worrying, but it's also, they ended on a good note. So I think we will get the very end of Lupin's route in the next episode. I pray, because that thing is so cute. And I want it animated. Also, they went out with the animation in this episode. They really went all out. Like, they were, it was great, pretty much, for... Mm, especially the latter half with like when they zoomed in on the eyes that was great so what do you guys think of this episode what do you think is gonna happen next and i'll see you guys in whatever i review next bye